to be clear, the best people mm -hmm. are ones that have a holistic process within the entire organization about adoption, right? So not, uh, we're rolling out this new tech, let's figure out how to get people to adopt it. No, as an organization, we roll out change this way, this is how it works, and whether this is technology, whether or not it's whatever, whether it's it doesn't matter what it is. This is how yes. we this is how we do it. It's expected that everyone's gonna understand what's going on. Mm. This is how we get feedback from from end users. This is how we this is how we approach that. The more it's just part of your business and not I, this new tech is making me have to do this extra stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's more this is just how we work as a company, the better off you're gonna be. Mm -hmm. yeah. The on the flip side of the good, I'll say. Um, one of our projects that we did was an internet based project. And originally we struggled to get some buy-in from some of the stakeholders and it was a little bit reserved, but our, our stakeholder there was, was pushing for it. And, um, she really, really pushed it along. And after it got launched and people started to see what it could be, they started to say, Ooh, can we get in on that? And they started to really like just make it seep into their organization where everyone was using it, everyone wanted to use it, and it became this like self-fulfilling prophecy where people wanted to build on it and add new things, and so people wanted to go there, and so people, they wanted to add on it, and it just kept going in more and more, and so we're excited to see that. Um, in cycle. a concrete example from that um, particular case, I believe they ended up making – a company-wide leadership change, whether it was the company was bought out or um, at the top, they made that announcement through this tech uh -huh. that everyone had adopted. I think it was through a video message. And I felt like that really was the bow on top of the whole project yeah. of, wow, everyone in the company is actually able to communicate through this tool. They were confident enough that mm -hmm. enough of the company had adopted uh, that intranet that they made. A huge announcement like that yeah. through it. Uh, yeah, and it was it was successful, right? You know, it's it's good, good engagement. So that particular scenario highlights probably the biggest challenge for organizations that are trying to, uh, pro, you know, improve adoption, and that is with tech, especially people don't know what it means to them until it means something to them. Mm -hmm. um, it's very difficult to take a technology that's going to be an integral part of your life and get feedback on what you think that means to you or what you know how we should improve that before we launch it if I'm not using it right mm -hmm. um you know you you just don't know but then how do you do that do you spend you know thousands hundreds of thousands right. of dollars getting getting you know focus groups and having people try right. beta tests and if especially if you're a smaller organization that just that doesn't work yeah but at the uh same time just launching it to somebody and then finding out that it's absolutely horrible can be a very costly choice too. Thanks for watching this clip from our podcast, Make Others Successful. If you want to see more, head on over to our new channel where you can find full episodes and other helpful clips.